Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, Radio KBRG. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time. Uh, getting ready to get it in. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early what I see through Scripture study and prayer line on this sixth day in uh, December 2019. We're also on KBRG. <coughs> Excuse me, Radio KBRG, International Radio. Um, and we're excited. Those that's on the conference line, welcome aboard. <clears throat> Hallelujah as well. Let's get ready to get in the word, y'all. Uh, quick prayer. Spirit of the Most High, we love you. Thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Help us know how. Ask you to send a relevant word to this city of people that we may continue to grow in you. We're believing you for it. We're trusting you. We thank you. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we only pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all that. <clears throat> let's deal, y'all. Um, let's go to Matter Yahoo, Matthews, y'all. 13. Uh, 13 and uh, beginning at the ninth verse. I'm going to explain something to y'all this morning. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Trinda. Uh, Al Mal, um, Elder, uh, Cam, the whole host, y'all. Love y'all. Uh, um, Nicole, the beat goes on. <clears throat> Look what it says. Matthews 13 and 9. It says, Who have ears to hear, let, let him hear. Listen. Um, he who have ears to hear, let let him hear, right? See, oh, again, here we are, Matthew's 13, y'all. Matthew's 13, beginning at the ninth verse. Let's deal with it. Let me start again. He who hath ears to hear, let him hear. <clears throat> I, I want to let you know. I want to let you know that the Most High is a master at hiding himself, and a lot of people don't know that about him. <clears throat> Those that know him took it for granted and experienced how easy it is to get to know him. Those that know him, I'm going to repeat it again, y'all. Those that know him experienced how easy it was to get to know him. And those that don't know him is difficult, even though they don't even know that. The people that it was easy for don't understand the difficulty because they never experienced it. And those that it's difficult for don't know how easy it is because they never experienced it before. Those that it was easy for had the necessary ingredients in order to get to know him easily. Because he hides himself. Mm -hmm. In plain sight. Who have ears to hear, let him hear. The commandment is on the ears that came to hear. The ears that came to hear to adhere. Everybody that come to him is not coming to him with a willingness to do what it take. Everyone that come to him is not willing to lay their life down and take up their cross. They're not willing to do that. Even if it's unbeknownst to themselves, they're not willing to do that. They have more of a state of mind of and built-in excuse of why they're not going to stop doing certain sins. They already came with a built-in excuse. And because of that excuse that has exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, they can't be his disciple, and they don't even know that's the reason. 
However, he who have ears to hear come with no excuses. Yeah, they got issues in their life, but they're not allowing it to be exalted above the most high. They come in like clay in his hands. He's the potter. They come like do what you do because I'm I, I'm going to submit. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. Tenth verse. Look what it says. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Listen, y'all, because folks think that the Most High is giving what he's giving to you to everybody. And I'm talking about everyone that shows up. Just because a person show up don't mean they're going to grow up. Everyone that shows up don't mean they're going to grow up. Look. The setting is he is preaching by the, the by the seashore, by the seaside, right? It's a multitude of people that came, but he started teaching in parables. He could have spoke in a way that they completely understood what he said, but he spoke in parables. <clears throat> now, I'm going to give you another clue. Things that happen in the word are symbols of what happens in the spirit. I said that to say this. Even if he didn't speak in parables and make it plain, their brain still would not have been able to maintain if they didn't have the ears to hear. And the ears to hear is the ears that's ready to adhere no matter what. A man ain't gonna stop me. A woman ain't gonna stop me. My, my children, a spouse, not even myself going to stop me because I'm not going to exalt none of those over his word. Those are the ears that came to it here. So whether he spoke in parables or not, the reason why he spoke in parables is to make it plain that he's hiding himself. He knew before the foundation of the world that the disciples would ask him, why are you speaking in parables? And he's going to break it down because I'm hiding from those who heart ain't right. I'm hiding from those that came to get a natural blessing from me but don't want a spiritual one. I'm hiding from those that won't submit to me. I'm hiding from those that don't, that don't love me with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength. The requirement is that you love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Those that don't, don't even understand the necessity of doing it. Those that don't will say that they do, even though they don't. You know how folks, you know, you know, you know, say, oh, just how you do Oh, putting God first. That's a lie. But they believe it. So he's hiding himself from them unless they repent. Oh, that's the truth anyhow. Let's break it open, y'all. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. Disciples came and said on him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? Look at his answer, y'all. He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. They wanted to know why are you speaking in mis mystic, my mysterious language? Why are you speaking in parables and terms and proverb-driven language? He said, because it's given on to you to know, and, 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 and it's not given to them. I'm not letting them know. Didn't he tell us in Matthew 7, right? Give not that which is holy on the dogs, neither cast thy pearls before swine. Y'all fasten your seatbelt. We teaching this morning, okay? And it can get a little turbulent to those that are without. Th those that he talks the parables in can get their feathers ruffled a little bit. But I'm trying to tell you the truth so you can wake up. Maybe you can end up at the end of this lesson with ears to hear. Because those are the ears that's commanded to hear and to be transformed by the renewing of their mind. So they'll be able to prove that which is good and acceptable and it's perfect will. They'll stop saying, ain't nobody perfect. We only human. That's ears that didn't come to hear. They just don't know that. <clears throat> that was a commercial break. Back to the lesson at hand. 
And he answered and said unto them, you want to know why? Because it is given on to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. I'm telling it to you. I'm revealing it to you. You can't get nothing from heaven unless I reveal it to you. And I reveal it to, to, to the true believer. I reveal it to those that won't put nothing to nobody before me. <laughs> you start putting stuff before, you start declining and don't even know it. You used to do cool, and then all of a sudden, you got weary and well-doing, you fainted, and now it ain't like it used to be. <laughs> huh. His disciples came and said, why are you speaking in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. Why to them? Because they would give up everything for him. They already did mentally. They already bowed down. They already humble. They already not going to prefer their mother, their father, their brother, their sister, their spouse, their children above him. Not even themselves. So it's given on to them to know the mystery. He spoke in parables to a whole crowd of folk. When he was done speaking in parables, the crowd left. Study it, y'all. The crowd left. There was only a few to stay behind with the disciples. And the few to stay behind with the disciples is the one that wanted to know why are you speaking in parables. And he had to break it down. You stayed behind because it just wasn't you know, another day at the office for you. you. You didn't come through for the crowd. Oh, I went to service today. What did you learn? What did you give up? What did you repent from? Did you surrender? You gonna hop back in the bed with him? You finna drink up all the gin and smoke your cigarettes and start cussing again? Then, then, then you don't have ears to hear. You don't have the right ears. You can hear naturally. Folks come to him wanting a natural blessing, want him to fix their finances, want him to fix their marriage, want him to fix their credit. <laughs> Folks is not, 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 not coming to him to fix their filthy communication problem, they, 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 they lustful bedroom activity. They're not, they not here. They, they perverted, you know, weird sexual sickness and snatched it. Oh, don't have me go there. Stealing stuff from him. Want, want to re... re, re the, the rainbow is a promise that he not going to flood the earth no more. Folks getting goofy. Get to taking his stuff. And the, the copyright thieves. <laughs> and he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mystery of the kingdom. Wh whatever... Wh it, wh whoever that believes him to the point that I surrender. Folks looking for a, 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 a doctrine that will tell them we all sinners. The old love folks, ooh, that sounds good. I can finish shaking my body down to the ground. Woo! And still go to heaven. <laughs> Shake your body down to the ground. He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you, because of your humility, I'm ready to change, y'all. What's wrong with me? Tell me so I can fix it. Through, through the power of his spirit, through the power of his ruah, I'm done with me. I did things my way. It is given unto you to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them is not given. Uh-uh. They ain't getting it. Let me show you something, y'all. We're going to come back here, I believe, but let, let's go to 1 Corinthians real quick. I just want to show you this. 1 Corinthians uh, 2 and 9. Let's go. Look what it says. It says, But as it is written, <clears throat> I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man the things which Yah has prepared for them that love him. I heard this heck of times in church. I heard preachers preach this as if to say uh, that it's all a mystery. No, it's not. Not for everybody. It's definitely a mystery, but not to those to whom it is given uh, 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 to know the kingdom of heaven. He wasn't talking to them. He was talking to those that don't have an ear to hear. Look what it says, y'all. It says, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, 
neither has it entered through the heart of man the things which Yah has prepared for them that love him, but Yah has revealed them unto us by his Ruach, by his spirit, y'all. Yah has revealed them on us. Who is the us? And who is the one that is not revealed to? To the heart of man. To a, to a carnal man that, that study him, read the, the word like it's a novel, that study him from afar off, that study him without commitment, that's listening but not listening to do. Listening, but... If he say the wrong thing, they they gonna quit him. You gotta be careful what you preach to certain people, cause they gonna leave. Try to preach them out of the bed and see if they ain't gone. Baby, let's go. Daddy, don't listen to that. He trying to mess up, and we got a good thing going. I finally got a man. Don't don't listen to him talking about we fornicate. Baby, please don't go. Come on, let's get out of this church. This is a cult. This is a cult. All in your personal business. We don't come for folks to get all in our business. We just want to love Jesus and we just want to go. I have not seen what I ear have not heard. Neither has it entered to the heart of man, carnal man. The things which Yah has prepared for them that love him. Because those that love him surrender. Those that love him, love him to the point of obedience. Ready to surrender and obey. Folks, folks want to just chime in, listen to a little word, or go to the service, listen to a little word. They're going to finish doing them no matter what was said. They don't have an ear to hear. He didn't have ear to hear. Let him hear. Let him change. Let him go through the metamorphosis process by the renewing of their mind. The word will renew their mind, renew their activity, change them into his image. Oh, it's the truth anyhow, Nicole. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither has it entered the heart of a carnal cat. <laughs> carnal woman showed up. <laughs> Wanted to just hear some good music. Is the how the choir? How the choir? Who played the bass today? The bass player didn't come. Girl, let's go. I knew we shouldn't have came over here. We should have went down there. I told you to go down there to that church with Milton and them singing and playing. Folks not coming to hear the word. Folks are not coming to hear the word to be transformed by the renewing of their mind, to go to the metamorphosis process. Folks is coming uh, to be scholarly. Folks is com coming to be dollarly. Get paid, uh, preacher. Folks is coming for ulterior motives. Folks is coming because they tired of their man cheating on them and they trying to get a little word in them so they can keep them. He won't marry, he won't marry her, though. <laughs> and she's afraid he might... Well, <laughs> Uh, run off with, 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 with. ulterior motives. Folk, 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 I haven't seen, not a natural eye, nor ear heard, neither has the entered the heart of man. Look, the things which Yah has prepared for them that love him. Look at this. But Yah has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For, for the spirit of Yah. Searches all things, yea, the deep things of Yah. Watch this. He's breaking it open. I'm trying to show you something. Look. Eleven verse. For what man knoweth the things of a man? Say the spirit of a man which is in him. That's the eyes and the ears and the heart right there, right? For what for what man knoweth the things of a man? Say the spirit of a man is in him. We know people because we peoples. We know people because we're a person ourselves. People know people. Is that fair? For what man nor the things of a man save the spirit of a man is in him? Because we're human beings, then we know how human beings get out, right? Even so the things of Yah knoweth no man. Folks running up. No, you don't know. You don't know, Yah. Watch. For what man nor the things of a man save the spirit of a man which is in him? Even so the things of Yah knoweth no man but the spirit of Yah. Yah is the only one to know Yah, period. Watch this. But we have received not the spirit of the world. We already had that when he met us. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yah. That's how we know the things of Yah. That we might know the things that are freely. Didn't I tell you it was easy to certain people and hard for others? 
but the spirit which is of Yah, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yah. Freely. Freely. You can read a scripture to somebody. It can be as plain as this. I'm going to make up something, y'all. It's not going to be real scripture. The scripture can say, the dog ran and barked. Now, there ain't no mystery on that. Ain't no proverb or nothing. I'm trying to show you something. The dog ran and barked. To those who is not given to, you say, then, did you hear that? Yeah. The, the dog ran and barked, right? Yeah. Okay, what you got to say about it? Dogs don't bark. Huh? The word said the dog ran and barked. Uh-uh. Now they're looking for a scripture to prove the dogs don't bark. As opposed to being able to accept the truth that's before them, it's hidden from them. You can get it. Do you know how blessed you are if, if you can read the word and get what it's saying out of it? You have no idea of how blessed you are. Did you know if you can listen to a message and it convicts you to the point that you change and you apply it to your life. Do you know how blessed you are? Because some people <clears throat> can hear the same word as you. Some get mad. And some get glad and saved. Some, some change. Some change to anger and get worse. The same word. Um, let me see if I can real quick. Um, can I do that? Let me see if I can in a timely fashion because I this is a sermonette, y'all, and I can't get caught up too much. But I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can go to John 8 and I can give you an example of what I'm talking about, right? I hopefully I can do it quick. If it seems like it's gonna take me too much time, I'm gonna bail on the, I'm gonna bail on it, y'all. Because like I said, we don't have all day, right? But let's go to let's go to John Yachanan, y'all, Hebrew folks. But let's go to let's go to John eight. I just want to show you this. Uh, uh, <clears throat> see, I gotta find it quickly because all this the, the the point would be okay. Here we go. Like. The point is, he's doing one message, not two. He's talking to a crowd of people once. And in, in John 8, because I might not be able to get into it, right? But, um, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to start at uh, 20, real quick. 8 and 20. Look what it says. These words... Spake Yahushua in the treasury as he taught in the temple. And no man laid hands on him because they wanted to. For his hour was not yet come. Then Yahushua, uh, then said Yahushua again unto them, I go my way and you seek me and shall die in your sins. Where I go, you cannot come. Then said the Jews, will he kill himself? Because he said, to where I go, you cannot come. And he said unto them, ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. He getting on a behinds. And when you don't have ears to hear, uh, the word can't rebuke you. You'll get offended and you want to leave. You don't want to hear it. Ah, oh, he preaches condemnation. He tearing they butts up right here. But listen. And I said therefore unto you that you shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Yahushua said unto them, Even the same that I've said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I've heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. See, they didn't have ears to hear, so they didn't understand what he was talking about. Then said Yahushua unto them, when, when ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as the Father has taught me, I speak these things. And and. and and he that sent me is with me, and the Father have not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. And as he spake the words, many believed on him. Here we go. Not everybody, but many believed on him. 
Then said Yahushua to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Did y'all get that? My point is, he was teaching tough. He really was. And folks was getting mad at him. He said, you're going to die in your sin. But, but there was in the crowd people that believed. <coughs> Excuse me. He didn't preach a different message. It was the same message. That same message was cutting other folks and delivering the other folks. The same word was drawing some people and driving the others. He wasn't preaching two different messages. He didn't have an ear to hear. He didn't come submissively that could be corrected, that could be told you're wrong, that can be corrected and, and disciplined and reproved. Are the ones that have an ear to hear because that's what he came to do, to change us, to correct us, to rebuild us. To send us through the mind renewal process, and it only works on those that have an ear to hear. I'm trying to tell you something, y'all. Back to first, uh, first Corinthians two, <clears throat> twelfth verse. Now we have not received. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yah, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yah. He's freely given us eternal life. Because the wages of sin is death. Sin is what robs you of your eternal life. Adam and Eve would have had eternal life had they not bit. So it was sin. The disobedience to the Most High is what robbed them of their eternal life. Well, the Word came down to give us eternal life if we submit to it. If it, if it can correct us. If it can get in our bedroom. If it can get in our giving life. Our forgiving life. Our, 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 our obligation to the to the to the to the best of right to the gospel life. Yeah, the word to tell you what to do and what not to do, who to hang with, who not to. And those that have an ear to hear, well, and hear. And those that don't, man, you uh uh, I don't want nobody in my business. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yah, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yah. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. See, that eye, that, that ear, that heart, that's a whole nother thing. Carnal people think they can study up on him, think they can go to college and learn to him. No, you can't. You're going to learn the letter of the word. And the letter kills it. It's the ruah. It's the spirit that gives life. Learn the book all you want. You're still a rascal. You're still devilish. You're still adulterer. You're still rude and mean and scant. Come on. Let's be real about church person. Doggone camp dweller, running around with beards and, and fringes and just as rude, nasty, cuss. Come on, y'all. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but what the Ruach HaKadosh teaches compared to spiritual things with spiritual, right? But the natural man, natural joker, that's the eye and the ear and the heart that can't receive what Yah has for them to love them. They don't understand. Because they're not willing to give up stuff for him. They 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 they, they gonna keep apologizing for sleeping with him because they ain't gonna stop sleeping with him. They might lose it. They rather lose Yah than him. They rather use they rather they rather lose Yah than than, than her. Adam rather you lose Yah than Eve, and Esau rather lose Yah than that meal. He was hungry. But the natural man received out the things of the spirit of Yah. The natural human being, that carnal mind that's enmity against Yah, is not subject to the law of Yah, neither indeed can be. But the natural man received not the things of the spirit of Yah, for their foolishness unto him. You don't understand. You mean you left your man that was paying the bills for some invisible God? <laughs> now what you gonna do? But the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of Yah, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they're spiritually discerned. Come on, y'all. We got to go back to the scripture we started in, and then I'm going to let y'all get out of here. We're running out of time. This is a sermonette, right? Look, just a sound bite. Matthew 13, uh, 9. 
Who has ears to hear? That's a command, y'all. Let him hear. The right ears is going to get eternal life. The wrong ears, you're just religious. Having a form of godliness, the dying of power there, you're going to keep doing you on some Luciferian doctrine like you shall not surely die. The Luciferian doctrine that he got Eve on. And then Adam wanted to stay with his wife, so he went for it, right? And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou to them in parables? He said, He answered and said unto him, them, Because it is given unto you to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. Is he talking to you? Is it given unto you? Or you ain't giving up nothing for him? You ain't got time for it. <laughs> I can't be around a whole, I don't like being around a whole bunch of people. I can't assemble. I work too hard for my money. I ain't supporting no ministry. I, <laughs> I need somebody to support me. <laughs> and he answered the said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. But unto them, it is not given. Look what he said. For whosoever have, to him shall be given. When, when you, when you, when you're studying to show yourself approved, you're hiding the word in your heart that you might not sin against him, and you're applying it. He gonna give you more. Why would you put more food on your kids' plate? They ain't even ate what was on that. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not, right? You're not growing. You're not learning no more. You don't even do what you used to do. That's what this gonna say. But whosoever have not, from him shall be taken away, even that he have. You used to be able to do certain things, now you don't do it no more. Because it's been taken from you. And it's been taken from you because you ain't right. You can't force the Most High to put you in the eighth grade when you flunk the seventh. You, you, look, if you slept with him again, and you weren't supposed to, apologize all you want, and that's good. Another opportunity for you to sleep with him is going to come again. And we're going to see if you meant the apology that you gave. Because if you do it again, you didn't mean it. He ain't passing you to the next test. You're still stuck on the first one. He's not passing you on. And, in, and if you don't, even what you had, now it's going to be hard to chime in. Now it's going to be hard to come in. Now I understand why you don't give no more. Now I understand why you AWOL now. Because you didn't pass the test. And since you didn't pass the test, it's not going nowhere. For whosoever have, to him shall be given. And he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not, you refuse to do what was right. From him shall be taken away even that you had. What you had, you don't have no more. You had it, but it's gone. Because you refuse to do what he told you to do. 13th verse. Therefore speak I to them in parables. He told you why. Because they seeing, see not. Folks can see, but they, they don't get it. It's deep, y'all. And hearing, and hearing, they can hear, right? And hearing, they hear not. Neither do they understand. You got to bow down and stay submissive and humble to the truth. Or you stuck. You ain't going no further. You stuck. You going backwards. You're declining. Being morphed into a religious person. Having a form of yawliness denying the power to uh, power gone. You bless when you got the power to obey. You the, the power to assemble. The power to do what's right. The power to walk in love. The power to overcome evil with good. Because you filled with it. And since you had, he even gave you more. Now you can walk in the Ruah no matter what nobody do or say. You're able to assemble and do exactly what you called to do. It's the truth anyhow. Folks don't know that the Most High hides himself in plain sight. I just showed y'all in Yachanan how he had one conversation. And that one conversation killed those that were supposed to kill, the unbeliever. And it gave life unto those that was a believer, those that was willing, those that went through the rough conversation. He was swinging. You're going to die in your sin. Huh. If you don't bow down to this truth, you're going to die. He wasn't playing with him. He was swinging. And there were some folks, regardless of what he was saying or how he was saying it, they were receiving truth and they were able to grow. And he said, that if you continue, you got to continue, y'all. Because if you don't continue, what you got is going to be taken from you.
You might not be kissing them now. You might not be smoking now. You might not be getting drunk now. You not might not be holding grudges now. But if you st start playing with the Most High and see what happens, watch your decline. You don't have the ability like Samson got a haircut. Samson at the barbershop. Samson, what you doing at the barbershop? Oh, man, I've been looking at them new hairstyles, man. You ain't going to be able to get them Philistines off your back. You sure you want to get your hair cut? Come on, somebody. He didn't have an ear. Let him in here. Let him hear. What the rule, what the rule is saying to the Ecclesia. In closing, we got to bring the right ears to the table, y'all. The ears to add here. I'm listening to obey. Period. That's why I'm here. I'm listening. If truth come, I'm bowing down. My flesh don't like it. <laughs> he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Flesh don't like it. But the Ruah is saying, save me. Come on. He didn't have ears to hear. We got to bring the right ears to the table. Because when the word come, it's going to get in your business. Yeah, that's what it's for. That's what It's not for you to feel good and listen to some good music and Oh, that choir can say. None of that. That's all. Come on, y'all. Are you serious right now? The Mashiach, when he was uh, preaching at the seaside, it wasn't no choir out there. All that old extra fluff, all this church stuff. Come on, y'all. He who have ears to hear the commandment is on the right ears. When you're able to bow down before the Most High and, and, and give him permission to say what he got to say, knowing no matter what he say, we're going to obey. I forsake forsaken all and everything to follow you. And I ain't put nothing or nobody before you, not even myself. <laughs> That's it, y'all. That's why he speaks in parables. That's why people can look at the word and don't understand. Huh, I don't get it. You bless when he reveal his Yahweh to you. When he reveal the word to you. You can look at this. I'm closing, y'all, but I'm serious. You don't know how blessed you are if you're able to hear a message and come out with eternal life because of it. Because somebody else heard it and it didn't, it didn't bless them. They got mad. You don't know how blessed you are when you can read <clears throat> and the truth jump off the page. I'm not talking about private interpretation. I'm talking about if you really get the truth of what it's saying, you do not understand how blessed you are. You know how I many studies I get in with people and the word be so plain, it be so plain it ain't even funny. And they backpedal from it. And I'm strategic when I do it too because I stop and ask you. I go verse by verse, even line upon line on you. And they be agreeing with me all the way through. Strategy. So it be so plain that a fool can err. And at the end, you yield the floor to them, they say something stupid. They try to go get a scripture to fight against that scripture. The, that's not how you get in the word. You, you, you don't want to receive the truth of this. So you want to start going around trying to find the scripture to fight it. The word don't fight itself. A kingdom divided against itself can't stand. Pre, uh, 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 precept upon precept, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. And it all comes together like a puzzle. But folks that don't want to accept truth, Look for other scriptures to fight. <clears throat> the scripture, no. It's going to melt right in with it. Come on, somebody. You blessed. I'm trying to tell you something. If you can hear a word and it stop you from cussing, stop you from holding grudges, stop you from fornicating, stop you from getting drunk, stop you from tripping, if you can hear, do you know how blessed you are? You stopped doing what was right, but the word came and corrected you because you belong to it. And you get correct. Do you know how blessed you are? Because I'm going to tell you something right now. You're on the narrow road. It's far and in between, baby bubba. It's far and in between when the word can come and stop you from being nasty and rude and funny style. Stop you from being a switch up artist and isolated and, and tricky and slippery. If the word can do that, do you know how blessed you are? Pat yourself on the back in Yahushua's name. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. How much you know how? Gleaning in the truth of your word. We pray that your word will forth with clarity. Falling down in the souls of your children, springing up in the everlasting life. 
continue to caress your children and send us through the transformation process that we can be just like you when you come. And we're dependent on this process. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we only pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all man. That was the lesson for this morning. We pray that the word found you and unbound you if you was bound. Are you in celebration mode because of the truth? I bet you somebody else will be too if you're willing to push the share button. Only if you was blessed by the lesson, then maybe he can trust you to push the share button so somebody else might be blessed as well. Share your platform, y'all. <clears throat> if you're a supporter of this ministry, may the Most High continue to bless you even tenfold. We appreciate everything you do. It helps us to, uh, you know, preach and do what we do and even have to give to those in need. That's what we do over here, period. Um, and so I want to say thank you. If the Most High is leading you to be a supporter of this ministry, only if the Most High is leading you to, if he's not, don't even worry about it. But he's talking to his those that he's leading to do it. And if you are, it's my job to tell you how. If you got the cash app, all you got to do is put in 510-209-5818, and you can sow your seed like that. Um, also through Facebook. Um, you can go to Messenger, and you can donate in the Messenger. Real, it's that easy. Just go to my Facebook page, Yahoo to Israel, and you and you can and you can support the ministry uh, through that method. Y'all heard the word and want to talk about it? Super easy to do. All you gotta do is dial 302-202-1102, extension eight one five six four eight. Again, 302-202-1102, extension eight one five six four eight, and we can talk about the word. We be finna be, I just let y'all know, a plug to Radio KBRG. We finna be on a brew crew, a crew of preachers. We get in the word and talk about it, hash it. We don't agree all the time, which makes it fun. And we get in the word and let the word be the boss. Is that all right? If y'all want to join us, uh, uh, Radio KBRG, um, dot com. Those of you that's headed to the line, y'all know the number. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch, Brock, and Shalom. I'm gone.